Hello from the WIA. Mick Hoffman, Executive Director here with some great news. Uh, this weekend we received from the Department of Health our approved guidelines. And what you will find in those is that they're a simplified version of the NFHS guidelines you may be using. So there shouldn't be uh, any radical changes, but please compare and contrast because it's really important that you follow these guidelines as written. Uh, they are connected to phasing in the county. So as you move to phase two, phase three, and phase four, it will allow you to uh, understand what how you may expand um, opportunities for participation, not just in practices, but also contests as we enter the fall. Throughout the document, you will find embedded documents reference, such as the OSPI reopening in the fall plan and, and other documents that we've discussed. So um, in you should not have to go to a lot of other locations to correlate all the information that you've been sent. It's still very, very important that school districts, as you begin to implement your plans, that you uh, verify there are no other governor directives, as we know Governor Inslee's directive ended June 19th for closing our campuses. But it's also critical that you check in with your risk management as well as your general school district policies to assure you're capable of initiating activity. I know a lot of you are hoping to start today on Monday the t uh, 22nd, uh, but uh, I also understand that some risk management pools have said nothing till June 30th. So even though you have our guidelines, it's critical that you check in with risk management and uh, your school district leadership. The other thing I'd like to do is to thank our uh, committee members who helped put together the sports specific recommendations that you'll see. You can see Ringo is so excited he's decided to jump into the screen to help us spread this message. Um, that being said, uh, we have sports specific for the fall. We have a few more that we need to finish up for the alternate sports. Those will be out shortly, uh, but it'll also give you an idea of some of the things that uh, coaches and athletic directors and administrators have helped us develop for your specific sport. Uh, this is a very, very fluid uh, situation. And so if there are updates that come to this, we will make sure that we also get that information out. And um, finally, the, the last point I'd really like to drive home is it is absolutely critical that people do not get out in front of this and that we continue to be cautious as we move forward. The key to us having the opportunity for students to compete and participate in the fall is going to depend on how healthy we come into that situation. And as we fine tune and perfect uh, these guidelines, uh, we're hoping that we'll be able to play throughout the fall. If we have people that get out there too quickly and several people have challenged uh, the state and myself, um, as well as our team, on why aren't we doing it more like other states? And what we are now seeing is those other states that went too fast are having to go really slow to catch back up. And we want to make sure to make consistent progress to give every child in our state that wants to participate in our education-based activities the opportunity to do that this fall. So again, thank you very much to the Department of Health, OSPI, and the Governor's Office for your time in researching these uh, and approving them. And good luck to all of you as we commence our summer and eventually our fall activities. Thank you.